Hi everybody, it's Ann. I'm back. Yes, you're stuck with me still. I haven't gone away and there goes the doggy behind the curtain. Silly pup. He waits. I swear, he waits until I start talking and start filming and then he just like zips it, zips it all the way around. Anyway, I did a kind of shot my stash kind of thing because I'm getting ready to do some declutter. Not a lot of declutter because I really don't have a lot of stuff yet. And I'll probably kind of combine that with a look at what I do have. But these palettes that, I'm, that I used are from when I first got started doing the collecting thing. And I was trying anything I could think of to get some more colors and materials into my um, collection. I mean, I had a little bit of elf stuff. I had a little wet and wild stuff, but I didn't really have a lot of other things. Now, some of the stuff I'm also going to show you is stuff that I kind of picked up um, just for S and G's and said, hey, this will work. Like this little item. It's a glass coaster. I picked it up at the thrift store. I've actually got two of them. I've got this one and then I've got a gold one. I use these for my palette for doing like, you know, the foundation and stuff. Cheap! Yes, I'm cheap. We know I'm cheap, remember? And my version of color switch, little metallic tin that I picked up over at Dollar Tree. It's got a little magnet on the bottom, which works with the little um, storage thing that I've got because it's got a metal frame. And a ponytail donut. Works beautifully. If you don't believe me, there's all the powder in got two donuts I switch them out when I need to while well, one's being washed the other one's cleaning in the can works like a charm now one of the one of the brands if you want to call it that that I started collecting in the very beginning was one that if you've been on heaven help me wish AliExpress cheap section in, in, in Amazon, you have run into the company Pop Feel. And even if you have bought stuff that didn't say Pop Feel when you're looking at the ad, a lot of it is still going to be Pop Feel. And you'll recognize some of these. It's the little tiny 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 like the size of your fingertip pans okay but I got these because let me get this one turned around here the right way because See, that little tray fits on top there. Colors. Because colors. Are they the perfect colors? No. Do they always work right? No. You see this one over here where I've hit pan? That is, if you're looking at it directly, it's a pretty intense red. Take a good look at the center of my eyelids. Does that look intensely red or intensely pink? 
If you figure it out, you let me know. Now, this particular set that I've got, that two trays right there, actually has a third tray. I had gotten the third tray as a single before. So the one that's just like this that came out of that other box is still wrapped and put away. Yes, you can tell. I have dug into these things. I have used them. They are not awful. I'll put it that way. They are not awful. They are very basic, relatively useful eyeshadows. But they're very basic. They are not creamy and buttery. They are very powdery. They are very crumbly. And even if you wet them, I won't guarantee that they will stay put. Now, yes, I did a rather interesting look today. It's got some oddities. I don't normally do a lot of black around my eyes because I got little bitty eyes. But I decided I was going to today just for the heck of it. Now, this is some of the other stuff that I have let sit just because I started collecting some other a little more interesting stuff or at least what I thought would be interesting this is all wet and wild pencils you know the dollar pencil 99 cents and I started thinking as I went along that maybe 99 cent pencils were a bit shabby. So I got slightly more expensive pencils. Let me tell you, they don't work any better. They really don't. I've got elf pencils. These elf pencils run a dollar. And they're excellent pencils. But I was going, yeah, you know, yeah, Elf is a little on the inexpensive side. Maybe something a little more expensive would work better. And they don't. The Elf pencils work just fine. I paid what was it five bucks for this one for a white pencil when I had the elf white pencil and let me tell you that is what I got for five bucks five bucks and that is what I got for a dollar so yeah Pricey is not necessarily better. I wanted something really, really fine to do the upper waterline for doing the tight lining. And I found, two in a pack, this little tiny liner called the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. Let me tell you. When they say skinny, they mean skinny. That is a tiny little tip. And it, it just, it, it rolls up, so you've always got a fresh tip. You don't have to try and worry about sharpening these. They do beautiful tight line. I paid three bucks for a package of two. Not always better just because it's expensive. And let's see. Beauty Benefit of Hollywood and LA Colors Liquid Liners. Do just fine. I got those at Dollar Tree. Got my Wet n Wild felt tip if I want a felt tip liner for anything. 
got my wet and wild photo po photo focus eyelid primer my wet and wild mascara yeah i put a lot of this stuff kind of in the back corner because i was picking up other stuff and i'm going these got me through a lot for the first few months i was doing this channel and i'm going i'm not just going to leave them in the bottom drawer to a go bad expire dry out whatever i'm still working on my wet and wild powder i love this powder it's good powder Yes, this is a legitimate pan hit on this. I've got a couple of different foundations now. I've got a ColourPop stick, and I've got a Rimmel, and I've got a Maybelline, and my little $6 e.l.f. here that I've had for quite some time. It's still not used up yet. And I was letting it sit because it was the elf one as opposed to the Maybelline Fit Me or the Color Pop Stick or no. Nah. I decided it was time to go back and shop the stash. I need to remember to use what I've got as much as I like buying new stuff. Okay. I'm not going to stop buying new stuff. I'm addicted. I also have this terrible thing. My husband is a serious enabler. Okay. He is having fun with me playing with all this stuff. He thinks it's delightful. So I have a serious, and he's waving at me. So yeah, I have a serious enabler. I just went out the other day and bought now, it was at the dollar store, but I bought myself another blusher, and I'm going, hmm. You see, because I have this little elf. Even though it says, now I brought, bought a bronzer, and it's like, even though it says this is technically in the blusher, I use this for a bronzer. I've been using it for a bronzer for a long time. The color is called Koi. For somebody with my skin tone, it does just fine as a bronzer. I normally try to go a little more towards the peach colors for my blushes, but I pink. I like pink. I like baby pink. This is another elf piece. It's called blushing. Go figure. But <clears throat> this baby pink is one of my favorite blushes, even though I normally, like I said, try to go towards the peachy stuff because I've got a fair bit of a yellow undertone. But I like my little pink blush, and I haven't been using it. And I'm going, well, that's just foolishness. And then I've got this one. Again, it's listed as a blusher. This color is called Glow. It's currently on my face as a highlight. It makes a beautiful champagne tone highlight. It's gorgeous. There is no reason for me to not be using it just because I've picked up some other stuff. And my Ipsy bag had an Ofra in it. A big deal. These have kept me going literally for a couple three years so it's kind of foolish for me to like be just tossing them aside because i've gotten some new stuff they're still just fine the powders are just fine they are not falling apart they are not hard panned nothing the lipsticks i'm gonna have to show you all my lipstick set up at some point the camera I currently am using is not very easily movable. I'm going to get out either my phone or my um, other camera and see what I can do about showing you the way I've got my stuff set up. But I've got ELF 
LA Colors, Wet n Wild, Color Mates, all of my, all, oh, I've got tons of lipsticks, or at least what I consider tons of lipsticks. Some of you people have more lipstick than I ever want to think about having. It's like I watched Raw Beauty Christie the other day decluttering her lipsticks and getting everything organized. And it's like the bullet lipsticks from MAC looks like an ammo dump. It's just there's a bazillion of them. Take up a whole drawer and I'm going, no, I think I'll just stop where I am. I'm good. But I've got lipstick colors that I absolutely love. And then I started playing with the liquid lipsticks, and I've been ignoring my bullets and ignoring my creams and ignoring my glosses. Except as a top, the glosses get to play topper for the liquids on the liquid mattes, but I was thinking about that after I did what I did yesterday. I bought myself. A new liquid cat suit. Wet and wild. Yup. Thing is, I've got a couple of three bullet colors that are almost identical to this one. Do I like this? Yes, I tried it on when I got home yesterday. Like it a lot. And I've also got this liquid catsuit, which is one of the metallics. Do I like it? Actually, no. Because the metallic dries my lips out so bad that it's awful. They get all puckered up and crunchy looking. And it's just, it's awful. But have I gotten rid of it? Am I ever going to wear it again? No, it's still sitting here. My daughter-in-law might actually like this. But, yeah. Now, I haven't done anything with it. So, it's like just sitting there in my collection looking funny. Am I going to wear it? No. Am I going to get rid of it? Yeah, very likely, since I'm talking to myself about doing a declutter. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff, but I do need to actually start doing a proper declutter before I become overrun with stuff that I'm not actually going to use. And I figured I'd do a shop my stash before I start completely digging in and looking at what I intend to keep and what I don't. And I figured, what the heck? Let's just drag the rest of you in with me. It was fun. Yes, I like cami shirts. Okay, okay. See, cami shirt. All nice and red. Anyway, if you want to watch what I did to make this concoction that is currently on my eyes, stay tuned. If you don't want to watch, you can just toddle on your way. I stuck it at the very end. It'll just be me slapping some stuff on my face. You've already seen what I'm using. If you want to see exactly what I did, stick around. Otherwise, stay out of trouble. I don't have bail money. Be good.